So. BJ, I'm excited. This has become a family affair here on the end zone. We have uh, Luke's sisters hanging out with us. Rachel. I have been, I have been oh, toying gosh. with the idea whether we should bring it because yes. I know Luke has told her. Here's what, here's why I was like wondering if we should say anything yeah. because Luke said, "Sit down, don't say anything, don't break anything." Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, I think he just doesn't want Rachel to spill any beans about the uh, the early days of Luke Wilson. You got to understand, Rachel's been through a lot of harassment, guys. So take it easy on her today. Three oh. older brothers, you know? Oh, I'm not planning on harassing her. <laughs> no. I want to know some dirt about Luke. I mean, who knows better than your mm. younger sister? Oh, here we go. Oh, so you're, and, you're, and, you're mowing the sun, Rach. And she's the baby of the family, and I guess, let's be honest, she was the one that they hoped would be a girl, right? I would imagine yeah. after three boys, they're like, so. please, <laughs> please. <laughs> you can speak now. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Uh, equal rights has come to Canada finally. <laughs> wow. Uh, Luke just loves to harass me yeah. at any time possible. That's so. fair. That's a true statement. Yeah. I, and and where, are you the uh, youngest boy, Luke? I or? am. So I have my two old, or our two older brothers are fraternal twins, and they're two years older. Than See, me. Rachel, you're taking a beating because he took a beating. He's yeah. got no one else I he can go to. Take a beating. Yeah. Uh, it's like the joke of the family now was how much I was just trashed when I was a little child. <laughs> <laughs> but I was always I was just the biggest mouth though. That's what they always. You know. Always oh really? Yeah. Do. Always. Yeah. Since birth. Yeah. <laughs> Since birth, Rachel knew even then. <laughs> even before she was born. She, she knew. knew. She knew this guy wouldn't shut up. <laughs> Boy, the guy ahead, the guy in line ahead of me is a big mouth. I, I got to live with that guy? Are you yeah. sure? I'm going to yeah. pick another family. So <laughs> she's been telling me, though, that she has some funny story about me that she's been wanting to share. Oh, really? Yes. I'm not 100% I do, I do have a sure one. what it is. Why not in front of our 10 listeners? Go right ahead, Rachel. <laughs> it's actually a recent story, though, oh. so it's not from oh. when we were younger. But oh. uh, So Luke came home in the summer. And, uh, this is uh, true. I can I can verify that's correct. You know, he was still he was still getting used to his long hair, and he didn't know how to brush it. So I had to teach oh, wow. him. I had to teach him how to brush his hair oh, properly. That's awesome. So I have a pink that's brush, and like it's that's like absurd. pretty girly, whatever, and like so. Obviously, he was using my brush. So he leaves. He leaves Windsor, and I'm looking around for my brush. And I'm like. Where is this brush? <laughs> and, I, and like I thought I had misplaced it. And so the next thing I know, I ask Luke, I'm like, did you take my brush? He's like, yeah, it's in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's a story to this. There's a story to this. Uh, I think so, yeah, you're, story. A, you're a brush thief. Well, she <laughs> is. But like, the, the best part is that it's a pink brush. It's the yeah. most, is it in the locker room? It's, no, no. Well, oh, to no. be fair, Rachel, oh, no. I mean, it does go well with his new pink boots he's about to get exactly, to. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Right. Just so the, the color truth suits is, him. That's a true story somewhat. I, everyone was like, man, your hair's getting too long. You need to start combing it. And I'm like, I don't know, like, what does that even mean? So I would like joke around, and I grab this pink brush, and I was just like violently like Lies. hitting myself in the head with it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I, it was a nice brush. Like, it's a nice brush. It is. It it's is very nice pink. Brush. It is probably pink. one that she wanted to keep to yeah, use for exactly. herself. Yeah, exactly. So I would it. never go in and, and intentionally steal my sister's brush. So I think we I, call it appropriation <laughs> in the government. <laughs> what I did was, I left. I had an early morning flight. Uh huh. Rachel sleeps like a bear slash zombie. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good sleeping. So I was packing my toiletries in the morning before the flight. Oh, the, the pink brush was there. There it is. So I grabbed it, and I went to Rachel's room. She was sound asleep. I said, hey, Rachel, do you, mind if I, do you use your pink brush? Can I take it? And she went, yeah, sure. <laughs> I said, Okay. Knowing full well she'd have no recollection of that. And I don't. I have... And Love the question. The brush that she uses to brush her hair. Hey, you don't <laughs> use this, do you? <laughs> nice question. <laughs> it was great, because yeah. like two or three weeks later when she hit me up, I'm like, yeah, it's been in Seattle the whole time. That's awesome. She's like, I've been looking for this thing. 